All my Pluto people, come on in. We're going to dive deep into Pluto on the IC, the Astro Cartography Line. Yellow, this is Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in my video series, Thriving on a Pluto Line. Can you thrive on a Pluto Astro Cartography Line? Sophia asks about Pluto on the IC in Scorpio. We got a bunch going on here in the fourth house in Scorpio. We got the moon, we got Venus, and we got the north node all hanging out in Scorpio. And then furthermore, we have Jupiter right there in Sagittarius conjunct that Pluto. So let's dive into it. So thriving on an astro cartography line. The first thing we got to really remember is that the astro cartography lines are a representation of your birth chart. So to understand that Pluto IC line, we have to understand that Pluto in your birth chart. And your Pluto sits in Scorpio in the fourth house with your moon, with your Venus, with your north node. That's quite a bit going on there to help us understand that. And furthermore, Sagittarius, Jupiter sitting there too. And so the fourth house, how and where you nurture yourself, home and family. Now, from a traditional speaking, we're talking about home and family. But in reality, home and family isn't always where you nurture yourself. So we have to kind of look deep into this. And then wherever Scorpio is, we know we're looking at the soul level into it. And so, and the fact that the North Node is there, we know this is something that's relatively new for you. So having all that Scorpio insight, having that Scorpio moon, Pluto, Venus, is going to make you extremely permeable to other people's energies. And... The easy way to deal with that is to kind of lose self and take on everyone else's problems. Matter of fact, from a karmic perspective, I suspect that that's the case. You know, we have all that responsibility in the South Node up there in the 10th house. So learning how to use all this sensitivity in a way to benefits you is what we're really talking about. Learning how to protect yourself from the soul level is what we're talking about. And so the more you can dive into that, I would highly recommend checking out some of my other videos on Pluto and Scorpio will help you understand this. Now, as far as the astro cartography line, we're talking about a person who has Pluto on the IC natally. So that means no matter where you move, you're, you're on a Pluto IC line. So as far as whether or not you move away from it or move closer to it, there's not a whole lot of effect from the line itself. Now, with that said, generally speaking, family congregates around where we were born. And so your relationship with family, sometimes having a little distance can be a good thing. Sometimes having a little distance can be a bad thing. There's no right answer for this. You know, but if your family's overwhelming to you, giving yourself a little room can be a really good thing. I'm not saying that you have to move off this Pluto line because your family's going to be overwhelming to you. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you find your family overwhelming, you may want to move off this Pluto line. But fundamentally, what that Pluto in Scorpio really wants you to kind of look at all the unseen things. And does it nurture me? Your moon there, your emotional nature in the fourth house. Are you putting your complex emotional nature front and center? Are you taking care of it? Is your life set up in such a way? Are you allowing all that sensitivity to completely overwhelm you with other people's problems? Because that's really not what it's wanting. It's wanting you to kind of find you. And then kind of taking that a next step further, that's where that Jupiter and Sagittarius, the more you use all that Plutonian information that comes into you, that all that Scorpio information that comes into you through the fourth house, to find your own wisdom and express it in a way that serves you. Remember, the fourth house is really how and where you nurture yourself. 
All the planets in the fourth house are there for you to use to nurture yourself. All those planets are your friends. But the permeability, the overwhelming of other people's energies would be the one thing that I would caution you about. That especially as a young person, you're going to get better with age, but not taking on everyone else's nonsense. Not my karma would be a good mantra for you. No, no, no. You know, not letting yourself kind of get sucked into the drama of everyone else's life so that you can't focus on your life and what's good for you. All right, I hope you find this video helpful. Please click like and subscribe and have a spectacular day.